Welcome back to my channel. It's been so long. Um, if you follow me on social media, you know the craziness that's been going on in my life. But I am back. I went to the Lights Fest um, and I was showing it on my Instagram stories and had told you guys that there were a lot of things I wish they had told us um, because I felt like we were pretty prepared but there were some things that I wish they told us um, and there were a lot of people who were very unprepared so I thought I'd make this video as you guys requested for a review, vlog, kind of prep tips for anybody who's looking to go to one of these events um, because the websites for these things are kind of vague and I, I guess I get why because they don't want to scare you off but I'm a over preparer, so I like to know everything. I like to know all the details as much as possible so that I can prepare myself and have a good time. So without further ado, let's start. There are a lot of companies that do this. The one I went to was specifically called the Lights Fest, um, but now I guess they're changing it to the Lights music festival. These things happen on various dates and various locations, depending on the company and what they can get for venue purposes. The one I went to was at Superstition Mountain, which is about a two and a half to three hour drive from Orange County. So uh, from what I heard at the event, a lot of people drove for hours to get there. And of course, we're lighting lanterns, so they want it to be in the middle of nowhere so that there's no hazard and we can fly it and see everything. When you buy the tickets, they tell you that there's a possibility of rescheduling because of weather, like high winds or whatnot, or rain, which I get. Um, but we got tickets for November 3rd and they rescheduled it, not because of weather, but because they wanted to expand the experience. Okay. Well, we weren't going to be able to make it because we had other plans, but luckily we were able to move things around. So everything worked out. They kept warning us that there may be a possibility due to weather um, of them rescheduling it to the Sunday of that same weekend because it was on a Saturday. So you kind of have to block out a whole weekend just in case something happens. I get it if it was for weather and it was really bad, but um, I didn't like that they just changed the dates on us because they just wanted to enhance the experience. Tickets were already sold out and it's literally uh, a few weeks before the event and they decided to change. I think it was uh, three weeks before the event and they sent an email that they had rescheduled everything. So that was kind of like, mm, um, just so you guys know, if you were to purchase tickets, don't plan on weekends around that weekend. If they have to reschedule the event, you have an option of like six months or something to rebook the event. Um, but otherwise, you don't get your money back. We road tripped out there. Um, what I noticed was that a lot of people didn't know that it was gonna be in the middle of nowhere, where it's like really bumpy, dirt roads, so everyone's cars got trashed. So I recommend taking a car that isn't having any car issues, like your axles or whatnot. Um, if you have a SUV, a truck, or a off-road vehicle, that's great. I just drove my Honda Civic and it was fine. Um, some people drove really, really nice cars like Mercs and Porsches and things like that. And I can tell you, they really slowed down traffic because they were so afraid <laughs> of all the holes and bumps and 
dips and things like that um, that were present. It was very, 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 very dusty driving in, so um, everyone's car got disgustingly dirty, um, except for the very high vehicles. They kind of were sitting above the dust clouds. Plan on traffic because on the way there wasn't too bad, but it's when you get there, there's like a long line because people were so afraid to drive um, to get in. Um, and then everybody's waiting in line to park too, so there's that. So the event started at noon. They said gates closed at 6 p.m. We left at 2 p.m. because we had a lot of errands and things like that. And we got there by 5.30. By the time we parked and walked into the venue, it was about 5.45. Note, there is very little signal to no signal out there. They didn't really have any markers for where you parked. So what I did was I dropped a pin which was so helpful. Oh my gosh, everybody was trying to find their cars and it was so dark. That helped us get to our car so fast and get out of there so fast. Some people weren't dressed appropriately. What I mean by that is um, some people had flip-flops, some people had like sundresses. It gets very, very cold in the middle of nowhere. Um, so bring jackets, scarves, beanies, um, very comfortable clothes because it is a road trip there. And also you're sitting around waiting for the lantern thing to start. So be comfortable, be, be warm, um, wear shoes that you don't mind getting messed up in. I wore combat boots, so they got really dirty and dusty. Some people were grumpy because they had really cute, fancy, expensive shoes. I don't recommend that. So you're allowed to bring chairs, blankets, outside food. I saw people bring mats, tents, tables. Um, to set up to eat like little tables. Um, I saw someone with a portable stove So I guess you can cook out there. Corey and I brought our foldable camping chairs um, We were gonna bring our table But I'm glad we didn't because that would have been a lot of weight to carry in so if you have like a wagon thingy Bring that and just put all your stuff in there. There are food vendors Corey and I decided to pack our own food. So we packed um bun me and spring rolls and things like that. You cannot bring alcohol in, but they do serve alcohol there. There was beer and it was about $7 a cup. It was so dusty there and it was like really fine dust. I wish I knew so I could bring a face mask. Everything got really dirty and because it was so dark and dimly lit, I didn't realize but on the way home, I stopped by a gas station to pump gas and I looked at my hands and they were, they were black, which is gross. Um, when I got home to shower, my hair, the shampoo and water that came from my hair was black. Um, Corey says his nose inside was black, his ears were black. Um, so it's pretty disgusting, so just be aware. Um, I would bring, uh, feminine wipes or baby wipes if you could and hand sanitizer. The porta potties were kind of disgusting. Um, by the time we got there, the water had run out. They didn't have any water for the bathrooms or soap. It was just bottles of hand sanitizer. Yeah. And some of the porta potties actually didn't even have toilet paper. So if you could bring your own toilet paper, that's great. They had said that there was gonna be entertainment all day, um, like different singers and different activities for the children, like henna and things like that. But by the time we got there, there wasn't anything but food and singers on stage. So if you want to bring a book, you want to bring board games, you want to take a nap, there's that. Um, it's really important but some people didn't listen and follow directions. You have to wait for the signal from them to light your lantern um, because they get a signal from the fire marshal to be able to do it and if you light the lanterns before then the whole thing can get shut down and people drove for hours to get out there. So there were a few people that lit their lanterns like an hour, half an hour before, and they were really, really mad. Um, and can you imagine if you drove all the way out there and then someone messed it up for you? Don't be that person. If you see someone doing that, tell them to stop. A lot of lanterns were burning and crashing to the ground. A lot of lanterns didn't make it up that high uh, and got burnt out. So that was kind of like, eh. But you know, that's stuff you can't really control. That's just people. Uh, would I do it again? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'll try a different company. Alright guys, that's it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If I missed anything, please feel free to comment below and I will answer it as soon as I can. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!